hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video tutorial i will show you how to make an elliptical tremor mechanism so there are basic three components in this mechanism frame connecting rod and slider so we will make and assemble the parts to make this mechanism it will go like this this is basically an inversion of double slider crank mechanism first of all we will make part let's close it save all go to the parts choose right plane sorry choose front plane select center rectangle smart dimensions of you can choose your dimensions as well i will choose mine these are predefined 200 by 200 after choosing 200 by 200 we will simply extrude it up to 20 millimeters then choose this face normal May sketch now there are now there is some difficult thing to do not very much difficult simply we will make a center line then a center line another center line we will draw another center line as well from this point to this point these are the, i will use this center line later for mirror command so first of all i will simply from this top to bottom mirror entities mirror this line about mirror about mirror about this center line here we go smart dimensions from this point to this point of almost just 10 10 millimeter 10 millimeters are fine so choose again line command for enclosing this figure here it is now enclosed we will again use the line command from draw a line from this end to this end horizontally guys sorry for the interruption because of signal problem we will draw a complete rectangle but we will define rectangle as we have defined previously only 10 millimeters for the overall width of the rectangle is 20 millimeter again define from since we haven't used mirror command here again define overall it's 10 10 millimeters so it's 20 millimeter we will use the trim command to trim the unnecessary lines no it's completely fine so we will simply extrude cut extrude cut not 20 millimeter just 5 millimeter now it's ready we will simply change the appearance we will use go to the metal chromium plates it's chromium plate okay sorry we will simply select the extruded boss and now we will use this chromium plate color and now it is all chromium colored control s go to the desktop part one save it with the name part one close it again open the new part now we will make simply slider it's very simple just make a rectangle extrude it up to 10 millimeter first of all we select the center rectangle go to dimensions 20 since we have chosen a total width of 20 for the frame 20 here
screwed up to 10 millimeter it's fine go to this face normal sketch now this circle radius is very important we will choose the radius of 5 millimeter so the overall diameter will be 10 millimeter go to the extrude cut command through all it's, it is basically a slider we will simply go to the painted it's overall red control s part 2 on the desktop now the only thing which is left is the connecting dot we simply close it open new document part after choosing part go to the front plane simply select this center point state slot choose this center point a slot draw slot now def define the dimensions here the length of 90 millimeters are fine this end this end not more than okay 30 is also fine not more than 30 simply extrude it extrude up to 10 millimeter that's great choose this face make it normal sketch S draw a circle of radius almost 5 millimeter because we have chosen a circular cut of radius uh, diameter 10 millimeter we will again draw a circle again here of radius 5 millimeter extrude it extrude up to 10 millimeter that's fine now close it save all save as part 3 on the desktop we have made all the three parts now we will go to the assembly for assembling we will enter all part 1 part 2 part 3 here in this since we will adjust it according to our demand here it is this part is defined now we will also adjust the slider now it is fine now for connecting dot adjust is it is fine first of all we begin the mating we will mate this face of slider this face of slider made it coincident with this path face now it is defined so when we know but the slider can move out of the path to define it completely made this face parallel with this face now it is almost it will not go anywhere and it, it will it is no parallel but for now we will define a path mate zoom it close tender mates open advanced mates go to the path mate choose this vertex of the slider for path choose this line and now it is defined now you can see it will only go along the path forward and backward now go to the insert components enter part 2 again adjust is according to your assembly adjustment now we will again simply drag it over there we will simply again make this face face of the slider made it coincidentally with the 
path surface now it is we will again make the this face parallel coin parallel made with this this surface now it is almost defined we will simply go to the advanced mates choose path mate select this edge of the slider and then choose this edge of the path now it is fully defined almost you can see now it will move forward and backward but it will not go anywhere else so now what we will do we will simply make this circle of the connecting rod concentric concentric mate with we will do it concentrically mate it concentrically with this circle now you will see but it is not fully defined yet we will what we will do i will mate coincidentally this this word is look carefully this word is with the this word is i will mate coincidentally with the this word is now it is completely on the slider you will see now that when we will move the connecting rod it is now along the path and on the slider now what we have to do we have to do the same thing with the with connecting rod and this slider connecting rod and the second slider we will simply fix fix the second part please fix the second part so we can move the connecting rod simply choose again this edge of the connecting rod mate it coincident coincident mate with this edge of the slider now it is almost defined you will see after mating make this part float because then we will be able to do our motion analysis you will see when we go there it will move similarly you will see when i go there it will move and no what i will do i will do the motion study new motion study go to the new motion study okay motor check this face you can change the direction i will select speed of 30 rpms rotary motion that's good i will go to the i will increase the length of my overall assembly or animation motion analysis i simply play this video i hope you like my video please subscribe my channel like my video share it with your friends there is no harm for you in liking and subscribing but it is very much beneficial for me please like and subscribe my channel thank you very much i will save this assembly rebuild and save on the desktop